Shalom, this is Eddie Car 24. I just arrived in Kirkwood. So, waiting for a couple of our homies to pull up so we can um, get our camp going. There's a few people on these streets, but to be honest, there's none worthy. But uh, we're going to send our spirit and our white oil out there into the universe to prophesy the downfall to this place and the rise of the 12 tribes of Igoro. Um and just doing my mahi every weekend how it's meant to be on this holy sabbath day uh got my pew on every day and um we're here to edify the people with the truth but those two who want to hearken and to be honest it's just the spirit we need to put onto the um onto the whenua and onto this place because this place is wicked as hell and every time this place gets wicked We'll come and balance it out with the acts that we do. And these acts that we do is the righteous acts that puts balance into the world. You know, I don't need to be talking to anybody. The most high hears my voice. That's how stupid and silly you are if you think that I'm talking to no nobody. I'm never alone. I've got the host of heaven behind me. Look, look. I have a little homie Manu up there. Huh? He's waiting, waiting for class. I'm never alone. There's trees behind me, there's, there's energy everywhere. So I'm here to edify the people with that energy and balance out this evil, wicked place with the truth. So I'm going to be yelling out to people, come up, come get some kai. I've got some kai for you, some spiritual kai, some spiritual knowledge. Yeah, but it's actually just the Sabbath day, so we're out here. No buying, no selling, and no kindling fires. We are here to edify the brothers and sisters with the truth to bring balance onto our planet. Mm. Without anybody. So, I'm gonna set up camp at the water fountain. This is me and my team used to um, street preach here back in the day. At this water fountain, there used to be a yellow building. We're always right here. And then, I don't know, magically, these damn heathens go and put a water fountain right here where we were giving the people water. So I'm going to um, establish my camp in the same spot where our first ever street preach. I ain't going to be chasing anybody down. I'm just going to be out here doing the works. And to my homies, He's working for not coming to camp. Mm. And to the brothers down in Auckland, down in Wellington, down in uh, Wanganui, up in Kaitaia, down in Whangarei, start hitting the streets all together now, brothers. Who cares? Don't be shamed. Don't be shouting. Don't care about what these humans think. We are not human. We are the gods. So let's show them how gods operate and be. And this is how we do, we sacrifice ourselves. We are living sacrifice. So yeah, on the set of camp. Mm, so all honors and glory goes to the my, to my father, to my God of gods, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Aroha Yama, Tu, Ah Yahaha. All praises, honor, and glory to the most high. Shalom. Shalom. Tena Kwe, Tena Koto, Tena Tato Kato. I just, um, I just established my camp. This is how it is. Got my Bibles down there to hold down the, hold down the fort. This represents heaven, and I'm standing on the, from the heavens, and I'm talking down to the earth. All you wicked ass people, breaking all the universal laws of the Creator. Uh, I'm out here all by myself and I don't care. And you wicked ass Israelites, my men, you better wicked ass quite 24. You just need to start heading the streets to get your uh, knowledge up. So it's called a fast track. And it's prove yourselves. You prove you, prove to yourself, and you prove to the most high that you can do this. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
And today, um, it's the seventh day, so I'm going to do a Everyone who walks past, everyone who walks past, I'm going to give them some good news. Mm. No judgment today, just good news. All oh, honor and glory goes to the Yahweh, to the Most High Power, the Wah. So, yeah. So I asked her if she wants to hear some good news and she um she said she'll hear one verse, humble herself and hear one verse, and then she told me that she needs to go and up her sister. Her sister was feeling pretty depressed and suicidal and she needs to go up her sister. And so I, I gave her this one verse, and the one verse I gave her was Deuteronomy 7 and 6. If you want to read that verse, and then while I was reading that verse, her sister was up the road and she just jumped out of the car just wonder where her sister was at and then she heard me reading the word, the word to her and then she actually um just started beeline beelining it towards us and the, those two sisters all of a sudden were standing in front of me and uh the sad sister who was pretty down and out she um she she, she actually loved what i was teaching and um proving to her that um the, about the word of life and, she, and it built her spirit right up um then she left and when she left, these are the words she said was, I am somebody. And while we're Kanoi to Kanoi, she actually told me she follows me and she doesn't know that um, I'm the guy until she met me Kanoi to Kanoi and then. So that's pretty cool to see. And this next video clip is her coming back. Yeah, so cheers. Yo, I uh, just finished edifying a couple of sisters. You know, they were pretty down and pre uh, depressed today. Um, and they left smiling, happy, and appreciating who they are. They're loving the world now. And that's the sort of thing I love to do about this thing, is waking up my people. The thing that pissed me off, I almost shed in tears, is that rubbish bin right there. I saw a sister putting her hands in there looking for, looking for some food to eat. She came over to me, just she was just walking past. She's, she doesn't really speak and all that. This is a few weeks ago, probably a month ago, and it hurt me. So I yelled out to her, and in that moment, I remembered her name. She was one of my friends from primary and intermediate, and she was in the goddamn rubbish looking for food in her own hometown, and it pissed me off. So I gave her the word of uh, life, and since that day. She's walking around not looking for food. She's smiling. She's cleaning. She's uh, must be having showers daily. She must be uh, feeling more lively because I told her to. Hi, to you. Pray. Yeah, these are sisters. Sorry. What does mean to you? Aro ha. Aro means to give. Ha is your life essence, and that's what I'm trying to give is my life essence unto the, the people. Of... Uh, the breath of life is the hawa. Okay. Mm. And the, the breath is all written down in paper for us to read. It's written in our skin. It's written in stone. It's written in wood for us to read. And that's where we find the everlasting life. And words is, is actually the best life, the uh, best medicine we can get. Bad words, negative words, gives a negative vibe. Good words actually feeds the mind. Yeah. This book here is called, um, the original people of this book called this a makaya, meaning a bread, food for the gods. It's just a Bible. Normal one. Yeah, this is the King James Version Bible. This is the Gideon's Version. They try and change the English. Yeah. yeah. To, so then the books for everybody. When I just told you, these be the words which Maui spoke unto Ikaroa. He's not speaking to everybody. He's only speaking to his children. Yeah. Mm, the most, and that's why this is called the Most High. Mm. Nah, all good. Yeah. Ah. You say have a blessed day, okay? <laughs> see i'm giving life my people are waking up and it's great see they ask me questions i'll give them an answer i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna um try and make them feel better i'm gonna just tell them the truth and if it makes you feel good then you are one of the people if it makes you feel bad then you're not one of the people all praises honor and glory to the most high power yahoo ha yahoo Man, man, it's getting hot out here. I've been out here for a few hours. And I just had a, I just edified a whole family, a couple and some their children. And they even sat down on the ground and listened. And dang, I'm sweaty and hot. 
but this is what it's about. Um, doing the Holy Sabbath day, you know, it's the day when you give everybody the word of the Messiah, spend family time together. And that's beautiful, man, being out here. And I'm waiting for you scoffers and all you haters. I'm out here all alone. You know, all these people were giving me threats and everything, you know. I'm going to get my sons, I'm going to come and shoot you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that to you. And I'll tell you, I'm here on Saturdays. I'll give you my address. And where are you? Come stand before me. Come stand before me and get your judgment. Let's have a carnally to carnally then. You know, fellas um, challenging me and all this, and where are they? So, if anyone's got problems, come out and see me. I'm here every weekend for my people. I want to make everybody um, get used to seeing me out here. I'm going to, it's going to get, this is what I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to get popular. I'm going to start getting followers. I'm going to start getting noticed. Notice. And every time I'm out here, I bet you before I come to the streets every Saturday, people will be already here lining up, waiting for me to come preach and teach and share the bread of life. Shalom, I'm still out here. It's been like four hours. Um, I'm ready to... Um, Go pick up my rib from work and then bring her back here. I'm going to camp back up and then get her to review my recording. So, yeah, we're out here. Okay, man. These people don't want to be hoes. Everybody wants to be a hose and sluts these days. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't, by the spirit of a person, I don't want to waste my time teaching a, a dude who he'll listen for only five minutes, turn around, go around the corner, and then back, to, back into the wickedness world. I want, to, I want to teach those who actually go home and think about it, and wonder, and ponder, and then. Research. Yeah, so I'm getting quite uh, dehydrated. So I've got to go refill up on some food and some fruit. Uh, this is my vehicle right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got another half hour. Hey, devil! You're still walking around. Know what's some good exercise, cuz? Catching the plane back to the cold Caucasus Mountains. That's some great exercise. Sorry, my bro, I'm just judging the world. It's called order and decency. Let all things be done in order and decency. And my place, my house is out of order because there's too much foreigners here. And... The reason why is because the devil is here too. The devil and Satan, that old serpent, that fox. You go tell that fox, you go tell that fox, I cast out devils and raise the dead. Ah, I'm just bored. So I start picking on white people in a nice way. If they're, if they're white but from here, that's all right. But if they're white not from here and just recently moved there, I'm going to tell them to go home, make them feel uncomfortable in my house so they just get out. Or it will make them upset and want to fucking kill us. Like, that's the case. The white man comes here, lives here, gets, gets threatened by us brown people, and then he wants us out of our own house. You know, that's how disgusting these devils are. Yo, there's um heaps of uh heaps of people in town. But I, I noticed when um, people come into this truth, they get shy to um 
stand on their own neighborhoods and their own in their own neighborhoods because they grew up with everybody around here and then if they don't want everybody around here to see the um changes how they've um changed but i'm not shamefaced Kill my bro are you a Maori? Yeah. Hardy, my brother. Want to hear some good news? Want to hear some good news? We're going to conquer the world one day. You want to come and learn some kai? I've got some kai here, bala. <laughs> Don't be afraid, it's yours. Yeah. Well, Ma, we left you with some instructions, cuz. Yeah, I know. That's why we're at the bottom. That's why we're at the bottom. Is because everybody got their own ways and their own ideas. When we're a collective of people, we're nationality. We're not, there's not one person on the waka. There's a whole family on the waka. And all of us Māori are on that waka. We're oppressed together. We're, we're broke together. When one of us is rich, mean, but you are only rich. What about the rest? You're only as strong as your weak li weakest link. So I'm out here to, to make every link strong. And we're not going to be like... Ah, uh, just giving some good news, my bro. Just giving the good news, my bro. This is what I do every weekend. Living sacrifice, my man. So, yeah, I don't really, um... I need a cameraman so they can camera, camera my, um, things. So I'm just going to kick it with, with my homie. That's why I'm not afraid of my local people. They always know that I've been a motherfucker, so... Why not be the same motherfucker? So I got to go. How to do my homie? Shalom. Yo, what's crazy is that everybody's gonna get used to seeing me on these streets, you know? Cause I'm um, I'm by the crossing, and the and the cars have to slow down in this area. And then when they slow down, they, they get to we we actually get to have eye, eye to eye contact. And in that moment, I boom, I check this bro. But yeah, um, a lot of brothers out here are gonna be shamed because. They know that they they they've been sinners. You know they they try their best to avoid me. What's up, fam? What is up to today? A lot of a lot of people in Kaikwe, but they're not even from Kaikwe. Look that man right there. He got so scared, he's so racist, he ditched his own family. Look at him. He, he panicked. He panicked when he saw me. He was coming over here. He's, his racist kicked in because he knew I was a man of the Lord and he knew I was a real nigga. He knew himself. Bucky crossed the thing. He looked at me when he got over there. I, I looked at him in the eye, gave him the spur, and he just ran away and left his family. Look at him now. His family is, he's, fuck, that's how you know a motherfucker is racist when they get scared like that. And that's why us black people get shot by these white people because they get scared when they see a real man. Look now, he fucking runs in the tab. You little pussy nigga. Yeah, but this is just, uh, I just, what, what, you learn how to witness these racist devils. How they act and operate and behave. They're scared. And that's why they pull triggers on us easy peasy. Because they're scared. And he, and he come out. Look at his family now. What if he looks back? Yo. Hey, look at looking back. Scared. And he's scared like that. Hey! Hey, you on there! Um, hey, you in the red hoodie, come! Come! Watch this. To the power of the Most High. Yeah, you can't even see them. They're way down there. Come! 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 Come get some breath of life. Come kick it with me. You look like you're bored. Come! Come, come, chill. We'll just have a yarn. Here's a tint. Because, um, I think that's a female. 
They know he's the men, we only know. Here they come. <clears throat> What's up, devil? When he's going back to the cold caucus mountains. Ah, look, see? See? My sheep hear my voice. So. I'm not recording, I'm not recording. Thanks, Connor, for watching this video. Um, I want to give more praises and honor and glory to the most high. Our Father, I don't want to give much love to my my rib. Damn, I'm happy right now. This is this is the this is the year to celebrate.